Hey there, in this video we're gonna show you how to make peach cobbler in a Dutch oven and we're gonna do it over the campfire. And it just takes, I think, four ingredients is the one we're gonna use. You can do it with three. We're gonna use cake mix, some canned peaches, and also some Sprite and a stick of butter. So if you have those things in a Dutch oven, you can make this. We'll show you how, let's get started. All right, one of the first things you need to do is you gotta get your coals ready. So if you already have a campfire going, you can use the coals from that. I'm gonna be using charcoal briquettes. I find that when you're using Dutch ovens to cook, using the charcoal briquettes kind of just makes it a little bit easier to control your temperatures. And uh, this is a, a charcoal chimney if you've never seen one of these before. And there's not much to it. It's basically like a, a hollow thing that's got some, some iron wire in it. And you put the, uh, the first thing you do for this to start up the fire is you just get some newspaper or something to start it with, put it up in the bottom. And then you just take your bag of charcoal and you dump it in the top. If you want to be super precise, you can count them all out. For this uh, recipe, you're going to need about 30, 20, 25 to 30 briquettes if you want to be uh, super specific. I like to put in a few extra just in case I um, need to cook it a bit longer. I have some to go by and I don't run out. So once you have this set up, just got to grab a match or a lighter and get this thing going. You can light it down here these little openings. I'm gonna try to do a couple places here. Over here. Cool. Once your, your uh, paper's going well, that's really all there is to it. Now you just need to let this cook to get the coals going really well and it'll take uh, about 10 minutes. So we'll come back and get this in a little bit. While your charcoal is getting ready, what you can do is begin assembling your, uh, your cobbler. And so we're gonna be using, we've got all, of, all the stuff we need here. We've got a 12 inch cast iron uh, Dutch oven, and then we've got our four ingredients. So I've got some uh, vanilla cake mix. You can also do this recipe with yellow cake mix if you like, uh, but we just happen to have, have vanilla. And then I've got a stick of butter, and I've got two uh, large cans of peach pie filling. Now, if you don't have at, at your local store, you don't have the ones this size. These are 21 ounce cans. And so if you have like 15 ounce cans, you can just get three of them instead. You're looking for like 40 to 45 ounces, something in that, uh, that range. And then I have this small can of Sprite. And this is a, it's not like a regular can. It's like one of those tiny half cans. And this is 7.5 ounces. And so this is what we're gonna be using for the recipe today. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what you do. You just take the lid off your cast iron and it's quite easy and quite simple. You gotta open up your uh, peach pie filling here. And get that all out of there. Now I have, I have a couple cans here and uh, something to note is there's a bit of a personal preference to whether or not you want to put all of the, the uh, liquid in the pie filling in. If you like your cobbler to be uh, a bit moist, a bit runny on the bottom, which can be nice, um, then you want to put all of the, uh, like the juice in the pie filling in there. Um, if you like it to be a little bit less sweet or a little bit more dry, then uh, only put in the, the, the liquid from one can or from neither can. Um, and the, the filling, or the, the liquid in these uh, peach pie filling that I have is pretty thick. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it all in, but just something to keep in mind as a, as a tip, like if you make some cobbler and you find it's, it just tastes too sweet or it feels kind of runny, then what you can do is uh, just only take the peaches out of there and then uh, leave all of the, the liquid they put in there uh, out of it. Once you get all your peaches out, just spread them around, try to get it evenly on the bottom. And I, I mentioned that I'm using a 12, an, uh, 12 inch Dutch oven here. You could also do this recipe with a 10 inch Dutch oven. Um, it'll just be a bit thicker. So I put the peach pie filling in first, just dump it in there. And then the next thing really I'm gonna do is the cake mix. And what I'm gonna do with the cake mix, whew, got some splatter there. What I do with the cake mix is I basically am just gonna cover it on top 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit to try to get it uh, semi evenly. It's not a <laughs> not a perfect science, but try to sprinkle it out and get it somewhat even. That just gives you less work to do with leveling it out later. Yep. So once you get that, take your fork or your spoon and kind of level out that cake mix a bit. And uh, this is another place where some people kind of like to do things differently. What you can do with this is you can kind of mix it up a little bit to get the, the, the cake and the, the filling incorporated. But uh, for this recipe, I'm just going to put it right on top so that we have like the crust on the top and then we have the uh, filling down on the bottom. So now it's all dry on top. And what we do is we take this Sprite or 7-Up or whatever you've got, just a, a basic lemon lime soda, and then kind of try to get it evenly over the top with this cake mix. And uh, that's about two thirds of my can. And then I'm gonna mix it up a bit. And you don't, you don't wanna like stir it with all of the peaches, like you're not going down and stirring the whole thing, but you're trying to get all of the cake mix on top wet. That's what you're going for here. So let me get, put the rest in now. Okay, once you have your cake mix incorporated and you have it mixed up pretty well, you're, you're just trying to get as much of that dry cake mix on top mixed in with the, uh, the soda so that you don't have like dry chunks later. But once you get that done and into a good place, and I, I will note too, you don't have to be like super scientific about it, uh, of the desserts that you can make in a Dutch oven or just in general at a campfire, like a cobbler is one of the most forgiving. So be, uh, be generous to yourself. And then the last thing you're gonna do is take your stick of butter and you're just gonna cut off little pieces and kind of scatter it around on the top like so. And I'll just like let it melt in when the thing's cooking. All right, there we have it. So we got our, our peaches on the bottom, we got our cake mix with the Sprite mixed in on top, and then we got butter on top. You actually can do this uh, recipe without a couple ingredients. The main thing that you've gotta have is you've gotta have the fruit and you gotta have the cake mix. And you can do without the soda if you want to, and you can do it without the butter if you want to. So if you're in a bind, you could make this work with just the cake mix and the, the peaches, but we have all this stuff, so we're gonna go all out and uh, try to make the, the best cobbler we can. So from there, all you gotta do is put the lid on, and then we'll get it ready for the fire. Now we're back at our fire pit. We can see our charcoal's cooking good. I'm just gonna take them and carefully dump them out of there. I don't wanna burn my cobbler on the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these out. Put that other lid back on. And uh, you kinda of wanna divide your charcoal so that most of them go on top. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few, few in here, uh, five to 10, probably, probably end up using about seven or eight of them on the bottom. And then the rest of them I'm gonna dump on top. So once we got our, our bottom layer of charcoal there, you get your Dutch oven and put it on top. And then from there, it's quite simple. You just take your charcoal and then spread it out on top of the lid. And uh, you can more or less dump them there, but the more you can try to get them even across the whole top, the more evenly, in theory, <laughs> your cobbler is gonna cook. So that's what we're gonna do here. All right, once you're satisfied with that, we're gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it. It might take a lot, bit longer than that to cook ultimately, but uh, that's when we're gonna, we're gonna check it and see if it's ready to go. It's been about 25 minutes now, but we wanna have a look here and see how we're doing. So I'll use my tool here and pick this up. Ooh, I hear it sizzling. We've been smelling it too. Oh, look at that. 
Looks like it needs a little bit longer, but that's starting to look tasty. Nice and brown on top. Um, it's not burnt at all, which is good. So you might notice I, I took a few coals off the top um, from, from the beginning. I thought it looked like we had a, a few too many on there. You probably want like around 25 or so coals on top. Um, and so I ended up taking a few off. Um, and I haven't counted these, so don't, don't comment checking my, my, <laughs> my math, but probably around 25 is gonna do well for you. We're gonna come back and check this probably in 10 more minutes, and then I think we're gonna have some cobbler ready to eat. All right, here we are. Time for the, the final unveil. Take the lid off of this thing. Ooh, <laughs> look at that steam. Oh, look at how golden brown that is. That's beautiful. All right, let me poke into this and have a look. Oh, look at how fluffy that is. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is even better than I expected. All right, I get a big scoop of that. You got the fruit on the bottom. The cake mix is nice and fluffy on top. It smells amazing. I wish I could capture some of the smell and send it through the video tubes. <laughs> uh, but it smells amazing. And look at how look at how golden brown that is on top right there. That's perfect. It doesn't look like we burnt it at all. This turned out very nicely. I'm gonna scoop some of this up so you can see the final result here. Have a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is some good looking peach cobbler. I'm gonna take a bite out of there. Yummy. Ooh, it's very hot. <laughs> I have to slow down. Mmm, this is gonna be great. Go great with some, some ice cream on there too, if I had some ice cream. Put some ice cream on that, that'd be great. Mmm, good stuff.